Hi, and welcome back to ROP TV. We're in a special place right here with a special guest, Dabadu. Yeah, that's it for Yaba and probably Dabadu too. Dabadu is the gator over here. He's been around for a while. I wouldn't mind getting a hold of Dabadu. See, Dabadu is my new friend now. I didn't know it was called Dabadu, and then it's Yaba and Dabadu, right? Where's that from? But uh, Yaba's is gone. That's it. Those of you who are up north, when you come back, this won't be here anymore. July 2nd was the last official day of Yabas. A lot of great memories made in this place. In fact, Lori from the Bayfront Salon met her handsome husband here many years ago. Skip was getting out of the business, great restaurateur in the area. Skip, thank you so much for the great memories you created in the area between Chops, Yaba, and uh, what was the other one? Pazzo. Skip created a lot of great memories in the area between Chops, Yaba, and Pazzo over the many, many years. Skip, thank you so much. We wish you all the best in your retirement or the next phase of your life. Meanwhile, the Phelan family, who is uh, just doing a remarkable job at employing so many people and opening up some great restaurants in the area. So this, when you get back, won't be Yaba anymore. They've got a special surprise in store for us. And we will see what that is coming soon to this great space here. So anyway, say goodbye to Yaba and Dabadu. I don't know if Dabadu is going to make it or not. We'll find out later on. All right, uh, Gip, Pazzo. Speaking of uh, restaurant tours, many of you know Noodles Cafe, which is not Noodles anymore. Matt and his brother sold that restaurant recently, but some important news about that. Matt just recently had quadruple bypass surgery. So. I just want to send our best out to him. I know he's recovering and doing fantastic, but just want to send our thoughts and prayers over to Matt. Matt, you did a great job in our community for many, many years. We appreciate you and uh, we just wish you a speedy recovery and hope you're doing well. Send your best to Matt. This is a couple of segments from uh, the schools that we go to talk to. And recently we were talking about this whole comfort crisis that we're in. And we touch on that with the students to inspire them to get uncomfortable. Society's gotten a little bit too comfortable lately and uh, we're doing whatever we can to push them along because I, I think it, when we get uncomfortable, it's where the, where the growth is. So these are a couple segments from the schools recently and conversations that we're having about pushing them out of their comfort zone. So the first thing you need to do is find your home. The second thing in that first year is finding a mentor. The third thing, practice over and over and over again. I guess uncomfortable is the, is the word because I think as a society we have gotten very comfortable and we've made it very comfortable for people. We've made life very easy and uh, it's very easy to get comfortable and not to stretch ourselves. This industry, it, it doesn't just start when you graduate, it's, it's happening for you right now. Okay, it, it is so hot. I mean, I, I try to get these done before, it's sticky out here. All right, well, as you can see, it's uh, 110 with the heat index out here or something like that, I don't know, I'm dripping. But that's why there aren't many people here. I think they're either on the beach or just wherever you are in air conditioning right now. That's for everybody. So if you're up north, you know, like we're getting sticky down here. You're not missing anything at the moment right now. In fact, I want to take a little dip in here and probably going to do that at one of these videos because right now it's hot. All right. So those of you paying attention have been watching all along. This is now episode three. Coming up on episode four, stay tuned because it's going to be coming to you from a brand new place, really special and very far from here. But if you have been paying attention, like you, Joni, thank you so much, Joni. Thanks for your comments. Thanks for being around in our family for so many years. And thanks for taking the time to write a comment here. We appreciate you. Anyone else, we appreciate you. Thank you for tagging along. I think we're gonna wrap this one up. Not a lot running on this one. We'll see you on the next one. Stay tuned again. It's gonna be uh, from real far away. I'm gonna be bringing you some uh, interesting concepts. Check it out. Thanks for tuning in. Love you all. I'll see you on the next one. Stay cool. Bye.